Okay, um, been experimenting with this magnetic flux thing. Um, these are some uh, beads that come off of a, like a cord that are encased in like a simple to remove plastic. Um, can't remember where I got these. I had a few of them and I just took them out of the plastic cases. But they work uh, nice for conducting magnetic flux. These are N52 uh, half inch by 3 eighths magnets. Uh, the norths are facing the same way. It was hard to get them on there, but the, the pole strength at the surface is so strong that it's holding the structure together, even though they're repelling at each surface. Um, they're very strong, as you can see. I just had a little problem there. I was having issues before. I tried this video a couple times before I could get things the way I want. Now this one, this is a, a big big toroid. Uh, it's heavy. Um, sticks to this thing quite well, as you can see. I put a quarter inch piece of uh, PVC board. I wish I had a bigger one here. Uh, it's, sl it's sliding off, so I've got to be careful with this. So I'll move this over and try to get <laughs> try to get this thing on here. This one-handed stuff is terrible. All right. Let's see. The slap chop slips together but no problem. All right. Alright, we're at a point where we have a quarter inch gap. And it's quite weak with the quarter inch gap. Um, you know, I would think that possibly it would be a little stronger because there's some fairly big surfaces working there. But if we lift it straight up, she's good. Um, has a little bit of, if I added a little bit more space. There, she's still wanting to lift a little bit, all right? So we have uh, some good conductivity going on for the size of the gap. Now we have, I don't I, I got this out of a computer, I think. It came off of a ribbon cable, a uh, nice ferrite bead. I got a lot of these around, they come in handy right now. So now I know what my mind was saving them for. Um, now we'll put this across the top. This is uh, going to probably conduct a lot better direct contacts. And now we should have a majority of the flux going this way. Um, you can see that it's still got some feel down there. With the quarter inch gap now on the top, we're direct connect. This is on there very tight. Uh, actually, I think this goes on here tighter than this piece without the gap. So we lift it up. Have a little bit of float to it. Alright, got another one here. Um, try to short this flux path out. That's holding on there pretty good. Now we're released. It's still got pull. There's still some pull there. But she don't want to lift it. Now if I go to there, there's still flux flowing elsewhere. These magnets are so strong. It's too much. Um, so magnets are going to be a big consideration. Weak magnets, most likely. They can be neos that will last forever and a lot weaker or less. So my, I'll do another vid. I'm going to do uh, less of these and see what happens. Um, actually, less of them. We'll do two. Just two connecting these things. And we'll see what kind of pull we have and, and release. All right. If we put... This one on there. She's like she's not even there. So it's going to take a lot to take all the flux out of these. I'll do another vid with a couple of magnets. Thanks.